Hello everyone, this welcome back to HM Challenge. This time we're gonna do another review. This time we're gonna do a review on a, a My Hill Academia action figure that I did get from Target. And before we get into review and everything, um I gotta gripe with just just a little bit. Can I get off my chest? Thing that I need to gripe about is and I can show you the packaging at the same time. A company like, let me show you the, let me tell you the back, let me show you the back of it. Here's all the figures you can get in the line. These are from different animes that you can get. Some of the animes I have not got a chance to watch yet. Um, here is number four. Um, it says collect them all and everything. So here's um, Ichiro Adoya on the side. As I says, my Hero Academia on this side and his name. And everything. Well, before we get into the, the unboxing, this is from Jazzverse. I think I said that correctly. How can a company, Jazzverse, give you, as you can see right here, I know, oh, 13 pieces, as you can see that, 13 pieces, all this in this nice packaging for under 20 bucks. And I bought, and I, I didn't buy this out of all these. I bought this out of Target at retail price. As you can see, you got multiple hands, head sculpts, um, blast effects, 13 pieces where I can buy a Marble Legend and all I get is two hands for over $25. Something's wrong with that picture, guys. I don't think Jazzworks is nowhere close to as big as Hasbro. Now, I know I'm not, I know I don't have a college education. I know all I do is put stuff on the shelf at Walmart. But I do not account one one that makes two. I do understand a little bit of some things I see because I, I, I am around retail sometimes. And it's pizza. So I just don't get it. Maybe these executives just need more money. Maybe the people at Jazzworth don't need as much money. I don't know what the problem is. It just don't make no sense to me. Now, I don't have a problem buying a $25 figure, but you see this hand right here? This hand right here is represents a part of, if you watch my hair academic, represent, that hand right there represents why that hand is in folds like that. You know, you're getting everything to make this figure pop and look cool on your shelf to, to do your picks with, to do everything you need to do with. That's not make any sense. Now, I know I've been griping a little bit and I know I had to get little things off my chest. So I'm going to cut away, come back. And only thing we're going to do is talk about the figure. And if some things do pop up in my head, I'm just going to let out. So I'll be right back. I'm going to open it up, and we're going to find out is the Ichiro Adoria is cool in the packaging, 13 pieces out of the packaging. So I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere, and I hope you do. hope you come back and check it out that you might like want to get one of these Hero Academia figures for your shelf, and I'll be right back and show you how cool he looks out of the packaging. All right, guys, we got everything out of the packaging. I messed with the figure a little bit. I like it. And when I opened it up, I had a surprise piece in there that I did not know about. And you know what that surprise piece was? And this is very, very rare for that price range I just said. You got a clear stand. Very, very, very rarely the days, time that you get a clear stand. The only time Hasbro gives a clear stand when they want to give us retro cards. And they should have gave it to us from the beginning, from day one. If you're a G.I. Joe fan, you know what I'm talking about. So we did get the stand. You do get the plastic effects pieces. One of these days I get to say that word correctly. You did get that one. And they're all variations of sizes. Uh, helping with his powers that he has and everything. So you do get those. I'm going to move all that stuff out the way. It over here, you do get the um the two face plates, and if memory serves me cor correctly, that's the reason I was attempting to second come back to the video. I will show you how they go on. So you do get the two face plates, 
and everything. So I'll show you how they go. Oh, they go that damn soda bottle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I took a little bit of soda before I started back up on the video. My mouth was dry. There's the other face plate. Oh, you can see that kind of clearly. Hold on. Trying to give you a little bit. Man, there you go. Let me show you the other one real quickly. Man, there's too much light was on that. There's the other one. They both adore your um, face plates. I, I will do that. I, I recommend that sh me personally, I know a lot of people who are not into anime, but I do recommend that you should take time out and watch the first season. And I guarantee you, if you watch the first season, a lot of y'all, if, if, let's put it this way. I like, I like using things in, in percentages. And then we go back to the stuff. I guarantee you, we watched the very first season of it. If, 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 um, the people who don't watch it, I guarantee you, if, if, like, if, 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 if it was 10 of y'all watch it, I 100% guarantee you, six, six of y'all will keep on watching it. So here's the hands. You do get a fist hand. And I, I, I can't remember, but I think these are on here to help him control his powers. You see those little things right there? Help him, help him control his powers because he doesn't get his powers from the get-go. You, I don't want to tell you too much about the anime. If y'all might be out of ten, the six people who watch it, and you want you want to get into it, um, you do get the the, the flicking hand. It's the reason why the hand is in that motion. If you watch, if you watch it, you'll know you'll find out why his hand is like that, and both hands will be like that. You, if you watch it, you'll find out, and they guarantee you. You say, oh, that's why his hands like that, and that's like one thing I like about action figures and companies to give us action figures give us the pieces that belong to the figure it help it help out so much better and here's the other fist hand so I'll further do his adore you out of the packaging let me move all this stuff out of the way guys before we knock everything over so here are here here is out out of the packaging move the light down a little bit um also, in season one, he does. I can tell you a little bit of this, a little bit. It won't help. It won't. It won't spoil another episode. Um, they start going to school, and school to for them, it's like if you're an X Men fan, it's like going to um, Charles Xavier School. But only thing about different. And I said this before in another in another video. The only thing different about that is. Um, People don't be prejudiced to them. They don't. They they, they accept them who they are. That's what. That's another thing about I love about that episode. They don't get ridiculed. They don't be people. Don't be prejudiced to them. So it's a school to help them to enhance themselves to be a much better um, sidekick. Some of them want to be. Some of them actually do want to be sidekicks, and some of them want to be heroes. So, um, in, the, in, the, in the very first episode, when they started making the, the costumes, they told them to make the costume. And he wanted to make um, a mask, and that's why. But he doesn't keep the mask on. And I don't want to tell you no more after that, because it starts to get away too much of the story. But he doesn't keep the mask on um, and everything. So, it pretty much... Looks how he posts to it. Looks how he looks. I think in season one, two, and three, because I'm giving go to season four. I had to start over, and the reason why I start over because the last um app I got was just messing with me too much. And I didn't like that app that much. And I know a lot of people say, "Oh, you go to country, on um, country road, country road, country road." I get it. I do, but I get tired of paying for a lot of things. <laughs> I pay for enough. Um. So it does look like them. Now, when you are changing um, the hairpiece out, um, the hair is going to be a tad spiky, but it's not going to be too spiky, but you can't not control it. Um, so all around, I like how it looks. This piece is a soft piece. Now, I now I, before I get into it, I think 
This piece right here might be for a flight stand. I'm not sure. I couldn't get it out. If you look where I was, I was digging a little bit trying to see if I can get it out. If you can get that piece out, you might can put a flight stand in there. I just got tired messing with it because I was soon like I was messing up. But I think a flight stand could go in there if you get that piece out. I'm not sure. So if I find a way that I can get it out, I will tell you. Sometimes maybe. A up an update video because I don't want nobody to say, oh, HM so I can take it out and then come out and it's the wrong piece. So let me make sure before um, you do that. So don't go be digging and and be mad at me. I want to make sure. So I'm not really sure. It might be for a flight stand. So we, we, we'll come back to that on a later date. So without further ado, let's go to articulation real quickly. Head does move left and right. And don't grab on too much. If you grab on too much, you will knock that front piece off. And like I said, I said I went, at the end, I'll show you how that come out. Um, you can get the head, to, um, excuse me, you can get the side to side. A little bit of forward. Now, it is another movement right here. You can get side to side. To side. Excuse me, don't too much soda. And you can get to go forward a little bit. Got a nice, see, I told you. I knew that's going to happen. I knew that's going to happen. I didn't put it. Then I lost his head. God darn it. They went all the way under the stupid chair. And I can't freaking find it. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta find it. I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Alright, guys. So, if I had to took the face put off a little bit. So, we're going... I'm going to stop with the uh, um, um, articulation a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to put the face plate, face plate on, but do it correctly. Uh, all right. Now, you see these two holes right here, one here and one here. All you're going to pretty much is try to line it up with those two um, pegs right there, and just make sure you just pop it into here and then after you pop it on the both sides now this face the head piece same thing just wanted to take this part that piece that piece pop it into right there and somebody got a noisy car or a noisy truck or something around him they need to go somewhere else. now i hope they don't to be scratching my page and that'd be a bastard and you just want to pop it into like that. And then that's all you got to do. And then um, I had a little bit difficult with getting his hands up. I can't get them up. So I'm going to have to warm them up and everything. But you can get them to rotate all the way around. And they do have a butterfly jo joint in there. It's stiff. I just, there we go. If you see how that, it wiggling a little bit. It does have a little bit of a butterfly joint. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to warm that up. This side is a little bit more freely. It's going up a little bit, but I'm going to mess with that a little bit. Um, you can get the legs to go out that far on both sides. And you do have the drop down hips. More like your GI Joes, where you got the drop down hips, like go up and down. You can get to go forward and backwards. I thought it was a double knee, but it's more like a single knee. That's more like a single knee. There's no thigh rotation, no cut like that. Um, you can get the foot to go that far forward. And it can, there, that guy again, making a bunch of noise. And it, it can rotate, not like a Marvel Legend, but it did rotate. And for, you know, we got to stand, you do have the two peg holes at the bottom. All around for the price range and everything. I think you come out with a good deal and you probably say, well, I'm not into animation or anime or anything like that. I don't get it. Sometimes I do I do find it is uh is in Japanese or whatever type of language it might be in. I get it. Oh, uh, it's too it's too too difficult, it's too much, it's too violent, too much sex. I get it, I really do. But that's anime. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's anime. Um 
it, it, it pushed boundaries in a weird way. Uh, it will even this, these uh, these shows will have you uh, kind of question yourself a little bit, but um, but it do get a good point across, and I think um, you might enjoy it. And I know some people say I watch enough stuff on TV, or I don't watch stuff, in, or I don't watch TV, and I I I understand. Um, I do. I get a chance. The only time I really truly get a chance to, I'm trying to get everything in, in, in display into the pit. What did I do with the head face pieces? Um, oh, here they are. Um, and everything. Uh, I was going to do the Parsons, but I'm not going to do it. I do have the other Adoya from Todd McFarlane right here. It's a much bigger figure. The head's much bigger. There we go. Um, is in the seven inch scale. I do like the I do like the head scope. It's much bigger. I said it's in the seven inch scale. I'm gonna show you a little bit of him. I hadn't took him off the stand sometimes. He does. Come, he also do come off the stand, and the price range wasn't bad. Um, I'll put, you, I'll put him side by side. Had him that that that, that position for ooh. Only I said ooh because um. Arms are falling off so easy this week. Oh, he did have the, um, the face plate on the mask piece on there. I did not know that. I, I didn't really mess with the figure in so long. Um, hold up. I'm trying to get his arm back in there. Oh, come on. And his head fall off. What the M.H. going on? Todd. I know so this video is, good. is all over the board. <laughs> um, but as you can see, he is. Oh, there's no, it's no comparison at all. Because as you can see, it is taller. Much, much taller. And his head keep on popping off. I don't know why his head keep on popping off. Why, why your head keep on popping off? Because you think I'm going to go and get rid of you and you, you just don't think I don't care about you anymore. I don't know why. Um, but it is there. There's, there's, there's a comparison of the two figures and everything. I can't remember that he came, came with extra hands. Or what? I don't remember. You can't really, you can't do enough. No, no. Only thing you probably can use in the Todd McFarlane one is this one right here. It's probably the blasted pieces, but you know you can't use the hands. But that's, that's the difference. There's the two figures side by side. I like them. I like them both. I think they're both cool figures. Um, um, I think this is a much better figure. I think you get much better bang for your buck for that one. Um, this has been a very exciting review. Thanks for watching. And HM is out. And um, I gotta go out and get me something to drink. It's like maybe that's the third time I did a video with y'all guys. Is I don't buy enough drink when I'm off. And I keep on getting back in the line. I just wanna get out that store sometimes. So everybody have a good day, good night, enjoy your collection. Wherever it may be on, if it's Hasbro or whatever, enjoy it. I just think sometimes for us as hard workers as we are, we just deserve as much as we can get, <coughs> excuse me, out of our figures and toys. That's all I that's all I'm saying. And that's what we deserve. And all of us deserve that. No matter if we go out and buy something that costs 20 bucks, 10 bucks, or 120 bucks, or even more. Give us what we deserve and everything be cool. Because we're not taking the stuff with us. We're going to enjoy it now. So, hi, man's out. Be safe out there. Enjoy your collection. Hey, Jim's out. I'm not going to say it. I, I got to go. I got to go. I can talk all day to y'all guys, and y'all know y'all can. Have a good one.